Hey, Pastor Ray here. Thanks again for tuning in to Weekly Word. We appreciate you doing that each week and hope that uh, this is being encouraging to you and maybe you can share it with a friend of yours, somebody uh, that uh, you know that may need a word of encouragement and a lifting of their of their spirit. Uh, you know, this summer uh, is right around the corner now. It's starting to get hot. School is uh, getting beginning to close and uh, summertime starts around here in New Braunfels, Texas. That's always a great and exciting time. Uh, for Sandra and I, it's a time to reflect and uh, re restore our lives and our souls as we prepare for the next run of ministry. And uh, as maybe some of you know, we go away for a period of time in the summer to uh, get away and I spend time studying and resting and just preparing. And I wanna to talk to you about how that rhythm of our lives, the importance of that in our lives. You know, Solomon tells us there is a season for everything and a purpose for everything under heaven. And we go through seasons every year and seasons of our life. And it's really important that in, our, in this journey, this spiritual journey of our lives, that we do spend time reflecting and thinking about what God wants to do in our lives, kind of recalibrating exactly what it is that God wants to do and how God wants to move in our lives. And so this summer, that's what we're going to do. But if you notice in the scripture, in the gospels, Jesus would often do that. There would be times that Jesus would pull away it's a wonderful story early in the Gospel of Mark where Jesus goes and uh, people are coming and he is healing people and they are flocking around him. And then early the next morning, the disciples start looking for him because the crowds are already gathering and uh, they, he's gone. They don't know where he is. And then they go out and they find him doing where they often found him. And that is in a far remote place where he was praying, where he was communing with God the Father, where he was seeking his presence. The Lord would often take breaks, go away and pray and reflect. I say that to you to, just to encourage you that maybe this summer there needs to be a time in your life where you pull away, where you just begin to focus solely on what God wants to say to you. Spend time praying, spend time focusing on Him and refresh your soul. Maybe God's gonna give you a fresh and a new calling in your life to do something new this next year that he wants you to do. That when school starts back, maybe God's impressing upon you to take on a new ministry, to serve in some different capacity. Maybe God's leading you to, and charging you up and empowering you to do something significant for his kingdom. But if you never stop long enough to reflect, to pray, to meditate on the things of God, it's difficult for God to speak with all the noise that's going on around us all the time. I look forward to the summer so that we get away and listen to God. I encourage you to do the same. Today is gonna to be our last weekly word uh, until school starts back in August. Uh, we have done now 64 of these weekly words and so we'll be taking a break this summer and uh, I hope that you'll be uh, back with us when we start back in August and look forward to seeing you then. I hope I'm refreshed and restored and strengthened with a new vision and a new uh, charge to be all that God wants me to be. And I hope that when I come back, uh, I'll find you to be the same. May God bless you, have a great summer, and we'll see you in August.